WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday morning, 30 minutes to go until the opening bell. And we got markets hanging around record territory yet again. Dow futures right now posited by 34 points, trading at 28,042. We got the S&P futures posited by six, trading at 3,128. NASDAQ futures posited by 30, trading at 8,363. We're going to start things off this morning. We got up to 3,132 overnight in the S&P futures. We'll start it off with the VIX. As you'd expect, I think it was five straight days we've had higher markets in the S&Ps. We're going on five or six straight weeks of higher prices. The VIX, 1231, very little volatility as the market marches on to record territory almost on a daily basis. Jumping back to the charts, we'll start it off with the Dow. We got a little earnings this morning. Home Depot disappointing, Kohl's disappointing. We'll jump over to those in a moment. But even with that in mind, Home Depot, the fourth biggest stock in the Dow, but nonetheless, Home Depot lower. We'll pull up the chart, but the Dow still higher, 28,052 right now. We actually reached a high of 28,000. 127 at about 5 a.m. NASDAQ 100, 8369 right now. S&P 500, 3128, made it to that high of 3132 just before 6 a.m. There's your crude oil chart, $56.33, backing down from the highs we made just after 4 a.m. of 5719. Gold contract, 1467 right now, and the Euro US dollar trading at 11077. As I mentioned, Home Depot earnings missing as their forecast after sales miss. You got Home Depot shares down. Home Depot shares down more than five percent as they cut their forecast as, uh, for the year, as well as its same store sales forecast. Kohl's reporting their earnings as well as they report a miss. Store chain sales trim its profit outlook for the fiscal 2019 and miss analyst estimates. Other stories around the market. Uber ex-CEO and founder Travis Kalanick continues to dump his shares now up to $900 million. That's about a third of his entire net worth. He's about worth about $3 billion, just over that level. Seems to be dumping his entire, entire share load of Uber shares. And AT&T with a big downgrade as well. Jumping over the shares, we'll start off with Home Depot. Looking open at about two thirty, dollars was down to two nineteen. dollars Kohl's, KSS. Looking open about 50, was at 58, and <clears throat> AT&T opening lower as well. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento coming up at 9. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom, live programming all day. We'll be right back, folks.